It wasn't so very long ago. A little hard work, some careful planning, and most people could realize their dreams. Whether it was buying that first home, sending kids to college, or retiring early to travel the world. If you could dream it, you could move toward achieving it. The United States and Canada were lands of opportunity and endless possibilities for those not afraid to dream. It was a time when most people could expect to do better than their parents and their grandparents, and they did. But in the blink of a generation, the financial landscape has changed dramatically. Tonight, breaking the belt. To the ongoing crisis with subprime Culture mortgages. Culture of consumerism that has left many Americans swamped the Mortgage with debt. crisis leads to record numbers of foreclosures. Today, it's an uphill battle for many families just to realize even one of their dreams. Families are reeling from the one-two punch of poor savings habits and mounting debt. In fact, more than half of middle-class families have absolutely no net financial assets. In the United States in 2006, disposable personal income increased, but personal savings as a percentage of that income dropped to minus 1%. Each month, families find themselves walking a financial tightrope, hoping to stretch their resources just far enough to cover expenses and to avoid that one false step a layoff or a medical crisis that could send them plummeting into ruin. People with few options often find themselves forced to downsize or even abandon their dreams. Ever since I got laid off, we've really struggled. Mary's still working, but it just isn't enough. You can only stretch things so far. I don't know how we're ever going to get out of debt. We're using credit cards to pay for food and utilities. I think we're maybe going to lose the house. I just never thought it would be like this. Day after day, week after week, a desperate cycle plays out. Living paycheck to paycheck, charging more and more on credit. With one in five families having less than $100 a week left over after they pay their living expenses, they are teetering on a tightrope with no safety net. These families live on every street, in every city, in every state and province. Significant increases in costs for housing, education, child care, insurance, transportation, and taxation have left families with $1,500 less per month to spend than the previous generation. Consumer debt continues to rise at an alarming rate. Nearly one half, or 47% of Canadian households spend more than their pre-tax income. Per capita debt also doubled, caused by significant increases in consumer and mortgage debt. The average credit card debt among all U.S. households is $8,400. The truth is, these families are not only sacrificing their future, but the futures of generations to come. My child support checks are barely covering daycare. I'm having trouble making ends meet, and sometimes I don't know how I'm gonna pay the bills at the end of the month. Life is not easy for a one-income family living in a two-income world. With so little money to go around, families often must make hard decisions, including whether they can afford to have health and life insurance. The question today is not how much insurance do you have, it's, do you have any insurance? More than one-third of Americans have no life insurance coverage at all. No one knows what the future holds, but one thing is certain. Without proper insurance protection, you can't protect your family or your assets if you die too soon. But what of the flip side? What if a retiree outlives his or her savings? That, too, can have a big impact on a family's quality of life. For many working men and women, the promise of retirement included a comfortable home, time and money to enjoy the grandkids, travel, basically living life to its fullest. Unfortunately, many have found the so-called golden years tarnished. Poor planning, 
Not enough planning or financial missteps leave many retirees finding they just might outlive the funds they set aside for retirement. We made so many plans. We thought we were going to hit the road and see the world. Only world we're seeing is right outside that door. And Social Security just doesn't go as far as we thought it would. Who'd have thought we'd outlive our retirement plan? I thought we had it made. I was with a good job, had a good pension, but my company made some bad investments. I pray every day that neither one of us gets sick, or worse. I just don't know what we do. While retirees struggle to keep their heads above water, people just starting out wonder if they'll ever get into the pool. We have been married for six months. Six months and 15 days. We have been married for six months and 15 days. We're both working, we've got good jobs, and doing what we love. But what we'd really love is to buy our own house. You know, like our parents did when they were our age. And right now, the interest rates are really good. It's so hard to set aside much money for a down payment on a house. And the housing costs are so high here. And with recent mortgage crisis, the lenders want larger and larger down payments on the house. We just don't have it. I don't know how we're ever going to get a house. The volatility of the housing and mortgage markets has put home ownership on shaky ground. In Canada, average home costs have been rising at a rate that is outpacing average increases in salaries. People may have more money in their pockets, but the houses are still out of their reach. In the United States, the opposite is happening. Home prices fell to record lows in 2007. A mix of the subprime mortgage crisis, a rash of loan defaults and foreclosures, and less than stable economic indicators have led to tighter loan requirements and a marked increase in the required down payments. The middle class is hurting. They need help, but don't know where to turn. They've lost hope. They've given up on their dreams. But things don't have to be this way. There is a company committed to making a difference in lives of individuals and families in North America. A company committed to offering hope that financial independence can be achieved. A company that believes in the power of dreams. That company is World Financial Group. World Financial Group does not believe anyone should have to compromise or abandon hope. The WFG Financial Dream Map has been developed to help people reclaim their dreams. This powerful customized financial needs analysis tool allows people to chart a course to their future. Working with a WFG associate, they determine where they are financially and discover what it will take to get there. Today, there's a desperate need for widespread financial education. People everywhere want to know how money works and how they can make it work for them. But it's hard to gain this knowledge. Schools rarely teach it. Families don't talk about it. The bottom line is if you don't understand the power of money, then you can't put it to work for you. Through the financial dream map, WFG provides people with access to powerful financial information. Families can use this knowledge to make smart choices about their future and put money to work for them. Working with families across kitchen tables, sharing coffee at a small cafe, or waiting for a flight at an airport gate, WFG's associates are spreading the word. Hope is back. It's time to start dreaming again. The need has never been greater. The stakes have never been higher. Now more than ever, people need World Financial Group. People are ready to dream again. And WFG is the company to make it happen. Isn't it time you started dreaming again? Contact the WFG associate who shared this DVD with you 
and begin charting your personal WFG financial dream map. You've got your dreams. WFG has the strategies to make them happen.